Hi, um, Sarah here, your photographer at Red Shoe Makeovers, and I thought that I would jump on and do a quick video for you. Um, and I would like to give you five tips on how to stand in front of the camera. This is something that I go over with all of my clients, um, but in more detail, as I believe that the more information that you have, the more confident and comfortable that you'll feel in front of the camera, the better images we're gonna get. So this is just like a really small, small, small version, but I thought it'd be really good for you to hear. Um, and if you're struggling or you don't like having your photo photograph taken, then this may help you. So before we begin with the five tips, um, I just want to go over with you how the camera works. And again, this is something that I talk to my red shoe girls about before the shoot. So the camera, unlike the eye, doesn't see the way the world should be seen, that thing that the camera never lies, it does. Cameras are evil, mirrors are evil, you never really tr see a true reflection of yourself and yet you're the most judgmental and you are walking around blind to how you look. Mirrors distort, cameras distort, lenses distort, the lens that I'm using now is a 35mm which is a wide angle lens pressed up against my face so it's distorting all of my features far more than it should do so some women are like i know i can never take a selfie i always look awful it never looks like me and that's because the lens is evil and cameras are evil so this is why we need to show the camera what we want the camera to say because the spectrum of the what the camera can see is this and what the eyeball can see is this so we need to put all that information down into this tiny little spectrum of what the camera can see. Um, so tip number one is we never want to stand or sit square onto the camera because if we do what the camera is doing instead of our body shape being like this it's making us flat so we need to counteract that and the way to do that is to go to the side and in doing so you're now creating this shape again. Anything that you push towards the camera is going to make it look bigger. Anything you push away from the camera is going to make it look smaller. Can you see that? So that's tip number one. Tip number two, tops of arms. I've never met a woman yet that loves the tops of her arms, especially when it's pressed tight against her body. So the thing to do is, is just bring it away from your body just a little bit. Now some women will put their hand on their hip. I don't really like that. I think if you want to do that, then put them on your waist. Not saying that's your waist, that's your waist, and that's gonna create a better shape than that. If not, what I would personally do would be just to bring that arm away from the body, just a touch, and bring my hands around the front, and that's it. Tip number three is hands. I am obsessed with hands, and you'll notice during this video that the closer I bring my hand, look, I have a huge hand and now I have a small hand, and now it's huge. So we don't wanna see that, we don't wanna see that, we just wanna see the side of the hand. So if you are gonna show hands up in camera, then just make sure that you're showing the side of your hand and try not to bring that hand closer to the lens in your face because that's what happens. You wanna keep those hands far away. But like I said before, just hand like this, and maybe put your hand on the side, or if you've got a handbag, just hold your handbag, or just hands in the front. Uh, tip number four, I found a lot of women have um, an issue and a problem with their neck area, they don't like it and what they feel they, they should be doing is like stretching their neck up like this so when they have that picture taken they think, think thinking and feeling like all of this is all being pulled out and it's like the worst thing that you could do because what the camera will see the camera will see that there's no distance between there and there and then it's just one big square and so you just don't even look like you've got a neck there's no shape there at all it's just like one block what you want to do is bring that chin forward and down and in doing so what you're doing is you're defining this area here and then see how then this all gets lost because of the shadow how much better does that look than that yeah, can you see that? So chin forward and down. And then if you're standing to the side, chin and shoulder. We don't want to do this because then we'll lose the neck and we're not 12. So it would be this or this or this. Tip number five. 
when you look at the camera, I can't do it now if I'm looking straight down the lens. Am I looking at you? I'm, I feel like I'm more looking at you if I'm looking at myself filming this. But normally what you'd want to do is look straight down the lens. If you feel uncomfortable doing that, then maybe just look away. It's, but I feel that if you're looking directly down the lens when you're looking at yourself, it's, it's direct and it's honest rather than you being like almost like an object because you're looking away and there's no engagement between you and the viewer but some people are shy and you'd prefer not to but me personally I'd like you to look straight down the lens and own who you are and stand in your own skin and stand in the place that you're in right now Um, usually anything like this with like posing a lot of people say I'll play, I don't want to be posed and I often prefer it when there's a photograph taken of me and I wasn't aware of it Usually you'd prefer that photo because as soon as somebody holds up a camera to you, you've got your, oh my goodness, I hate everything about myself face. And that's all you see. Whereas when you're just being you, the version of you that you never get to see, that's what's being captured. So it's not about pose isn't the issue because we need to pose to show the camera. It's how you feel about yourself. And that's what we're photographing. And I usually spend a lot of time in the studio when I'm photographing my women to make sure that instead of just getting this thinking face that we're getting an honest face and we're getting who you truly are in here all of this is smoke and mirrors and you know good lighting and makeup but everything else the most important part is this and this is what I want to photograph so I hope that those five tips um, will help you and help you just understand how a camera works a little bit more and how you should be standing and that cameras do lie and that they're evil. And please do not base your beauty and how you feel about yourself on a machine with a spectrum that can only see this much because that's not you, darling. You are so incredible and so amazing. Have a wonderful Saturday. Um, if you liked this video, please put a comment and like. Um, if you just want to say hello, say hi. Um, and lots of love to you and have a really good day. Bye-bye.